Hello. Hi Capricorn, how are you today? Welcome to your September 2017 Clairvoyant Alchemy reading. And you're going to be my final earth sign, so I'm looking forward to see how that evolves for you. Okay, and I just have some new decks on my table, actually. I have these new uh, oracle cards, the Keepers of the Light and the Angel Prayer Oracle cards, both by Kyle Gray. And, and this deck is about um, the angels, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses, and their powerful messages. And this is typically all the angels that send a prayer your way. Okay? And so I just received them yesterday, so I thought I'll just pick one of each at the end because it's a short read. Now this is Archangel Michael out of this deck. The You can see that Archangel Michael is the cover there. And his words from this deck is, um, you are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. And, you know, we talk about the white light, bright light all around us. And within us protects us both day and night. So white light, bright light, Archangel Michael. And then this is the keepers of the light. And they also have an Archangel Michael in this deck. And this is known as trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Consider your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. And I just received them last night. I opened them up last night after my Virgo read. Because I would have brought them out for Virgo as well. But... So I open the package, and then I read this, because this is the first card in this deck, um, this one, under A, Archangel Michael, it's all in alphabetical order. And I just thought how sweet and a miracle to occur, because I had that new series that we've been working on uh, for about a month now, I think, maybe a little longer. But um, angels bring loving miracles, and that's what they're here to do with us, for us, you know. Their their main function is to help us with miracles, okay? So, I'm looking forward to your read, Capricorn, all right? So far, the readings have been coming out. Well, I've only done a couple, but uh, you're the final of the um, Earth signs. And it, um, what something was being said about you, Capricorn, is that, oh, look at that first card, that um, traveling in September is a powerful thing as well. Okay, and September is going to be a very powerful month. We have so much going on. Um, we have a full moon in Pisces on the 6th. Okay, and we also have this, I've been talking about it. Um, there's this constellation that's, that's happening right now. And that it hasn't happened since over 7,000 years ago. It's where um, our Virgo, the maiden, the virgin, okay, she literally has Leo on top of her head, and you know, we had this um, total solar eclipse in Leo just a couple weeks ago, last Friday, the other Friday before, and um, so powerful, and so this maiden is now about to birth, um, coming on September 9th, 9-9, nine, nine, a good number, birth the King Jupiter child, so it's like, you know, here we have Mother Mary birthing child Jesus and that Leo is on top of her head and the moon is at the bottom of her feet and the um, 12 stars of Leo are around on top of her head representing supposedly the 12 tribes of Israel and we'll talk more about that when I'm doing these angel card reading because Israel Jacob uh, the grandson of Abraham who it's all a lineage towards Jesus um, he had to battle a, or he fought with a angel and and they renamed his name Israel and he had 12 sons and that's why they're called the 12 tribes of Israel but we'll talk more about it down the road but this is really going to be so powerful okay and then we also have uh, for in case you have Virgo in your charts on the 20th uh, September 20th is going to be a new moon in Virgo and then on the 22nd we have the um, autumn autumn eclipse excuse me Autumn eclipse um, in Libra, and the sun goes into Libra. And then on the 23rd is when this constellation revelation comes through with, you know, King Jupiter coming through 
you know, on 9 9, he's coming into her canal, you know, the birthing canal. So, I mean, you can look it up. There's many people who have been doing videos on the revelation of 9 23 because we won't see this again until 7,054 years later. Okay. I think it's 9,000. I wrote it down, but I, I didn't. 9,024. No, 9,052. 9,052 will be the next time this constellation happens like this. Okay, so very powerful Perifile month. And then with the autumn equinox, that's also known in, in the Druid. I, I like doing videos on all those scenarios, and that's called Maybon. So I'll do a video for that too. But very, very cosmic stellar month. Many, many things and one of a kind things happening. So embrace it, Capricorn, okay? And definitely, if you are planning to get away, get away because travel is a, a good time for you and even international travel. But I don't know, sometimes with um, what's going on in this world today, maybe it's best to stay home, close to home. Okay. Well, the cards are kind of come out smooth today. Yes. Nice. Okay, no jumping cards yet or bonuses yet for you, but that's all right. Okay, so yes, yeah, so definitely, and another theme for this month is to uh, clean, sweep your house, you know, a lot of healing in the home, because really, this month with all this cosmic activity that's happening, and, and they say that this September 23rd, constellation scenario is a sign of God, okay? So, you know, it's time to really power up your psychic abilities, you know, looking towards your future. You, oop, look at that. I was just saying how you didn't have a jump card, but there it is, just popped out. Okay. <laughs> you see, that's what we're saying. It's time for you to power up your psychic abilities, okay? And that card just went weak. Okay, so it's like... um. It's really time, and with you know how this virgin is going to birth King Jupiter, representing Mother Mary and Jesus Christ, of course, uh, the Virgin Mary, rather. Um, it's like really, I've been talking about that Jesus is a spiritual warrior now with his Buddha and Kuan Yin and Archangel Michael, all the angels are with him, and that's why I wanted to buy these two decks, and I'm just looking forward to working with him, but you know. He's got them all, but it's like I've been saying it's a spiritual word, but now with this constellation happening, that will never happen again in 7,000 plus more years. It's like we knew, you know, if you follow Jesus' wisdom, Catholic, Christian, or Hebrew, whoever, you know, he was re, um, um, resurrected when they crucified him. He was resurrected, and that's kind of the, you know, the supernatural of Jesus. But with this, what's happening now is like, I totally feel that he's being reincarnated, okay, as our spiritual warrior, guru hero. That's what I'm, I'm feeling, and that's what I'm saying, okay? That's exactly what I'm saying. Because I, I didn't know anything about this revelation. I just, I was doing a video, I think it was for the last Virgo video I did last month, and I wanted to find a Virgo image, and... I see this image about this revelation and and the woman clothed in the God's son and it, it's just it's changed my world this last month. So now that it, this is happening September twenty third, um, that's what I'm saying. He's coming and reincarnated. Look at this. I didn't pick this card, so you get two bonus cards now. Okay, they're always fun. All righty. I know I've been talking a lot, but this month is just. I've been sharing on most of my videos that I've never been so feeling like electric, you know, and you know, I'm not the astrologer, I'm not the astronomer, but since the Venus transit, and that happened back in 2012, okay, June 5th of 2012, so, you know, I feel that this is really a month to you know, tap, tap the psych, psychic abilities, self-sacrifice, you know, self-sacrifice, tend to your home, Wait on the will of heaven, you know, get your house in order, clean, donate, when, 
is just sitting in a garage you don't ever use, you know, or, or in closets. It's really time to and meditate, downtime, technology turned off. We're the ones that are going to receive most of these energies, okay, most of them. All right, let me take an exhale for the moment. Oh, I'm going to do that. Well, here we have Major Arcana opens up the reading with the Fool card, but I don't usually like to use it's the Zero Fool card, but I li I prefer rather uh, the Spirit Spirit Initiate. Okay, the Spiritual Initiate. The Spiritual Initiate, and she's going on her journey. She's packed with a little bag. She's got her companion doggy, and we got the sun shining bright on her. Okay, it's like it's time, and this is the month. This is, this is. We'll never see anything, like, and that we just had that total solar eclipse in Leo, and here the crown of Leo is on top of her, the twelve stars of Leo as her crown for the Virgin. It's very powerful, and you know you can see. Usually they show a male as the spiritual initiate fool card, but look, there's a looks like a maiden Virgin right here herself. It's a new journey. It's it's a new journey for those are of us awakening, and especially those you've already awakened. You know, you believe in paranormal, or you believe in psychics. You believe, you know, there's supernatural out there, and we're the ones that we're gonna we're, we're gonna be given, like, you know, amping up our psychic abilities. I believe that. Okay, nice. The Queen of Cups comes through. That's nice. That's the first. You're the first to receive the Queen of Cups so far for September. That's nice. That's the Queen of Love, you know. The Queen of Feelings. She's uh, The Empress just came through for uh, Taurus, in case you have Taurus in your charge, or a beloved is a Taurus. And uh, Venus is the ruler of Taurus, and the Empress is the Venus card, so... This is like you received this first queen, but why well, I'm bringing up Venus too and this card because usually um, they're the mother cards. They're usually shown pregnant. So, but this is beautiful. And we talk about the kings and queens, how they've mastered themselves, okay? They've, they've worked hard, but they are now the masters of themselves. So believe in this, okay? Believe in this beautiful mother card again if you're expecting a child or this is beautiful this is saying yes it's going to be wonderful okay it's going to be a, a, a sweet childbirth you know how beautiful she's by the water yes and if you could get by water as well we want to heal ourselves especially this month to open up our psychic abilities in the respect of uh, take salt water baths or if you can swim in the ocean or you know what to do we know what to do but definitely uh, and this new moon in Virgo is uh, very powerful as well it's all powerful this month that's what I'm saying I I keep repeating it because I've never seen or felt any of it like this okay now we have the five of Pentacles coming through and this is about um, Usually you see two tattered people, you know, walking in the snow, no shoes on. This is this is the card about money worries. However, when I see fives, I think of change and movement forward. Okay. Travel on. So even if there's some kind of change of money for you, just we're gonna use the word travel for you. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. Just travel on, all right. Give it up to God. Give it up to spirit. You know, that's what happens now. When we're working with these spiritual cosmic realms, you know, God is in charge. Spirit is in charge. Spirit has always been in charge. Okay. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and now, like this, this scenario in the sky, in the heavens, um, nothing, you know, no man. That's why I wonder how people can be atheists and not believe in God and Creator because no man has created that, all right? Neither did the extraterrestrials. So, Prince of Wings. Okay, well, we just had that as well. 
the prince, the knight of swords is here, the knight of air, okay? And knights, I, I like when I see the princes and the knights, they're the same thing. They call them prince in this deck. This is the love tarot deck. This is from the true love tarot deck right here. I've had this deck forever since I started YouTube. But they call their page princess and their knights a prince, okay? But they're definitely in the castle already, all right? So, and it's a challenger, but he's trans, you see all those transformation of the butterflies? He's, he's going on into being his ambitious self, okay? Just like you, Capricorn, you're ambitious too. But yes, here we have him, okay? So stay, stay on track all right and this card is usually considered as i shared for the last read also a spirit um initiate card okay a spiritual initiate card and you can see like he's moving forward and he's not in battle or anything he's got his sword down but he's getting ready and he's got that mental aptitude to do it as well we're here you know this is starting the first card of the whole tarot starting out but that's okay. This is Major Arcana. So, you know, this card is saying, I'm ready. I'm, I'm going on my journey. I'm going on my, my prophetic journey towards spirituality. All right. So now we have kind of two that match together. And, but I like it. I like that. So it, it definitely, this, what's happening for this September is just, a whole new, we're going to, and we were talking about some last month, how we're going straight into 2018. Now we're going to start, you know, cleansing house, donate, get out, get things rid of from 2017, especially if a relationship no longer serves, you know, let it go and let it be so, because we want to just really plan for where we're going to be in 2018. And this is coming from the cosmic realm, you know, no doubt. Oh boy, okay, so now you got... That's kind of funny, too, in the respect. Last reading, uh, they they received three prince, three knights, and the one princess, one page. So now you have the prince of wands, too. And the, and the knight of wands, the prince of wands, also came through. So you see, we have this young blood, and that's the message for you. You can do it. And this, um, the roses in this deck is the wands, the fire spirit. So you're going to have that passionate energy to deliver. You, you, the wings is also the air element, so you're going to be thinking with clear consciousness. Very good. And what's cool is that these are both male active fire. Uh, you know, the alchemy is masculine active for both of this fire and air are that same kind of energy, masculine active. So that's you know, and and I, that's pretty cool, really. But we don't read gender specific here. I mean, male female is the energy you want to harness, okay? But this is being male active all the way. Definitely, definitely. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Moving on. Moving on. That's what we want to do. Move on. Move forward. Move forward. Oh, how nice, Capricorn. Look at this. The world card came through for you. That You're the first to receive that as well. Awesome. That's beautiful. And that's what we're just talking about. This cosmic stellar events happening to our world, our earth, is one of a kind. It really is. It's, it's wonderful. This is very nice. You know, this is this is about being responsible now, you know, and attaining prosperity. And here's the angel even trumpeting for you. <laughs> We're here for you. Angels bring loving miracles. Well, now isn't that nice? I, we get to pull two angel cards for you. Two keepers of the light, white light, bright light cards, and the, the angel prayer cards. Okay? So believe in yourselves. Definitely. It's, it's time for healing. I know I repeat myself, but it's what we have to do. You know, put your house in order. And wait on the will of heaven. You see, here's here's the angel here that's always amongst us. They're always near us. All we have to do is ask them, okay? And then we have Mother Earth right here. And then look at all the moon and the stars up above, okay? 
keeping the balance. But see how she's touching earth like they're here. They're here. And I pray they come from the sky this month. <laughs> yes. Okay, look at this. Ace of Coin is here. Nice. Well, new beginnings and new desires on earth here. And this is a pentacle. It's all about the coin, our resources. So this is a way to look that, you know, new desires for money and new money ideas can happen for you. Um, I usually talk about this card as, you know, for some of you who work for others, you might have a fabulous idea to bring resources to your company and make money and you're going to be well received. You know, this is like your ideas will be well received. And you can see the nice size of the coin and look, the sun is in up there in the sky. So like we opened up here. So definitely consider your thoughts. Uh, and now if you work for yourself, more power to you because obviously whatever you're working, you know, with or for is going to fruition. All right. And we talk about it on this channel. You know, there's no free rides, but when you work hard, uh, beautiful things can happen. And when you work with your angels, you you know you believe in the higher beings that that be. So even though we received already a pentacle here, there's no reason for fear about the money. Okay, put your ideas out there. Consider new fi financial projects or budgeting your money too. Okay, sometimes some of us we buy things we don't need, you know, and this is this time, this is why I'm bringing all this, if you don't need things, donate it, okay, clean out your house, you don't need a lot of stuff anymore, you know, just look at what just happened, oh, what, what Harvey has done in the USA, I just read today, it's the, the worst storm we've ever had, ever, in the United States, uh, the worst, and I've been through a few hurricanes, my darlings, they're not, Tornadoes, too, they're scary as hell, because at least hurricanes, you have, you know, heads up. Tornadoes come here like that. Scary business. Mother Nature, <laughs> I love it. But, you know, donate to them whatever people need now. People need. And that brings good karma. Paying it forward. Donating. Good karma. And animals, too. Look at this. I love this card. The Three of Cups. How sweet. Look at these these three maidens. How how pretty. I like I like this deck a lot, the witch's tarot. I really do. I like the images. I like the feel of it. But here we have the three of cups coming through. And I love that waterfall in the mountains. Yes, yeah, so it's time to, you know, not to worry. There's there's things coming. Okay. There's things coming. Um, get outdoors, appreciate, we were just saying water healing, and so, you know, if you can get around a, a waterfall, look how lovely, beautiful. We don't have waterfalls here in Florida. We're the flattest state in the USA, but we have beautiful oceans. The Gulf of Mexico and the, like, ooh, the wheel of the year is here. That's awesome. We were just talking about how this virgin is going to birth King Jupiter. <laughs> and um, for planet Jupiter, this is the trump card, the Wheel of Fortune. So you know now, be aware that you have luck and growth and expansion on your side. Fortune, good fortune, beautiful. Oh, look at this now. I've never picked up on this. Look how we have the same pentacle disc in this card. Okay, this is the first time I've picked up on that. Nice. Of course, we have the cups, and we just delivered the three of cups. So you see, no worries. Start creating. Create. Create. Tap your feelings. Tap your psychic awareness and create. Create. Okay? And we already received the wands, didn't we? Yes, we have the prince of wands right here. Okay, so have that fire and passion energy for what you want to deliver. And yes, we already have, look at that, you've got them all here. And then, definitely, and then more, the big, that's wonderful. I've never let it, like, presented a uh, reading like this. That's, that's really nice. 
That's really nice. Yeah, that feels good in my hand, too. Definitely. And you know what's kind of cool? <laughs> I know I just did um, the reading for Taurus, but they, too, I said, they both had the four elements. The element of water came out with the princess, but the knight of coins came, the knight of swords came through, and the knight of um, wands. So that, I got little goosebumps now, because that usually doesn't happen that way. So Capricorn, please... Embrace, embrace the elements, okay? It's time. This, I'm telling you, what's happening in the cosmic realm is fascinating. Okay, this was the one that just pooped up. Ah, the king of cups is here. You know what? Now that I, yeah, okay. Yes, this card's little. Yes, how wonderful. <laughs> oh, he's my favorite king. I talk about him all the time, every time he comes through. Because he does come from his heart. You know, he he really does. He he embraces all his people. You know, where the king of kings, the king of swords, who happens to be the highest court king, he he thinks more with you know clarity. He's a mental king. But this guy just, you know, he comes from love, <laughs> the love zone. <laughs> How sweet. That's fabulous though. Oh, this is the card that just came through as well. The Princess of Cups is here. The Page of Cups. Exact same card just came through. So really, this I don't know if you have um, Taurus in your charts there, but your, your reading is, you know, in balance. And yes, pretty much in alignment. In alignment. Oh, I meant to bring this out too. And then we'll pick one of each of these. But I've kept this little, this are my, from my 1111 Angelic Code, um, I've had this deck way before YouTube as well. And um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I mean, I literally was married on 11-11 on a Saturday in 1989. I've always seen the numbers, okay? And I knew that I was going to get married on that day. But here we have, for my 11-11 code, this is what we have to do for this month for sure, for sure. Alignment, okay? And the affirmation. The affirmation before use. I align now with the vaster presence which is my true capital S self. I acknowledge I am more than I have seen myself to be. I now seek to become more. Okay, I now seek to become more with a capital M. And I'm really liking that, but look at this. Look, the world is here for you to consummation. The Queen of Cups. Oh, look how nice the Queen and King are here. Ah, so really a marriage of Pure love can be represented with this. And if you are married, this is definitely talking about having children or birthing perhaps another child. This is good timing. Yes, the world is here to represent you. Okay, it really is. And this speaks of karma as well. So, you know, think positive all the time. Okay, you get what you give in this world. No doubt about it. And here we have the um, Prince of Fire journey on. There's a new journey every day. Every day we can start a new desire for something or make what we just started more grand, okay? No worries about money. Not not when we had all this going on, okay? Look at that. There's no worries. No worries, okay? And put your heart into it. Look at this lovely page here just talking about if you were planning to have children. Well, that's their baby right here, okay? <laughs> that's their baby, and definitely work with the earth, air, fire, water elements. How cool is that? But definitely, there you are. If you're planning, you want a baby, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's good timing. If you both are in love, I know a lot of people have children out of you know not being married, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not this and that, but I'm just think that if you're really planning to have a child, you should be married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. And if it's a girl, remember this reading then. <laughs> How cute. Yes, that's nice. And that was a jump card, so it just popped out. I'll have to watch that part of the video, how it just popped out. Okay, so this is the angel prayers. Um, and we'll just pick one. And I just, as I shared, I just received this deck. Uh, came through yesterday, but I didn't open up the deck till after my reading. And 
Okay, this is the one in my hand right here. But yes, and work with your angels, please. Call on them, pray with them every day. They're the ones that can, you know, send you that loving child. You know, that's how it works, really. And, um, you know, call your loved ones in heaven. Say, we want to make a baby. <laughs> we want to have a baby. Pray for us. Because they, they see that little soul coming already. You know, because they're souls now in heaven. You know, bright light, bright light souls. We're not talking about the devil's down, that's for sure. But trust, the evil ones come through as well. We got evil people that are born wicked, no doubt. No doubt. But I don't want to change the theme. But yes, yeah, beautiful. The queen, the king, and the page of cups is here. That's very, and look at all this earth, air, fire, water, magic, making the coin. Beautiful. New beginnings, okay? New desires. New desires. But the wheel is here. And here we have this Jupiter being birthed. <laughs> Out of the Virgin's canal here. And it'll come through on the 23rd. I'm just, you can tell I'm, I'm a little jacked up. But it's, I think, the most powerful spiritual scenario I've felt since the Venus transit. And that total solar eclipse was pretty darn awesome as well. But this is different. This is... This is the virgin birth in Jesus. <gasps> Look how sweet. We got Archangel Michael again. Oh, Lord. Now, for those of you new to my channel, I was raised with Archangel Michael, and I believe the two male voices in my head are Archangel Michael and Jesus, I swear. In my house, I was raised Catholic, Santeria, but in the respect, Archangel Michael hung on the walls, Jesus hung on the walls, Mother Mary... We had a little nativity of Mother Mary and Father Joseph and baby in this crib all year round up. <laughs> we didn't put it away. Oh, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. That's why we have to say the white light, bright light prayer. Okay? Chant. Let's pick up this one and see what this one is. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is the same card just came through for Taurus. Just, and they're the first video I ever made with these decks just today it's the first time so this card just came through for Taurus and you, we've had a lot of this other reading I just did has so many elements of your reading now how cute is that white eagle ancestor spirit connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now okay connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now and we we're just talking about talk to your ancestors but here, because we received this back-to-back -back now, I mean, I just was reading it to start off the reading so you all can see. And that's there's Archangel Michael, the cover of the deck, okay? So here we have, you are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. And this is the chant we say, white light, bright light, all around me and within me, protects me both day and night. White light, bright light, all around me and within me, I banish all bane. White light, bright light, all around me and within me, protects me both day and night. White light, bright light, all around me and within me, I banish all profane bane. In the name, power, and authority of Jesus Christ, beloved Son of Father God, Mother Mary, and the life beloved, the Magdalene Mary. Okay, that's how we say it, you know. You ever feel negativity around you? That's what you say. That's like an exorcism prayer right there. No doubt about it. <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh, how cute. You know, because it's Archangel Michael, and he's come back now, back to back, and he's on the cover of the book. It's just a page they have in here. But why I like this is just quick, you know, quick. And, but that he's come back to back now. That's pretty cool. And that I love Archangel Michael so much. I haven't even read it from the book, so let's just... I'm going to read it right now and I'll shut it down because, like I said, I just received this yes last night. I just opened up the decks last night and I like it so far. I do. Okay, Archangel Michael. Oh, you are protected. Oh, wait. I, I, was, I was saying, where is it? You are. It's under you. You are protected. Here we go. Okay. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light and the general meaning. Archangel Michael is pouring his electric blue light of protection over your whole being at this time and encouraging you to know that you are completely safe. Whether, let me see, 
whether you have been worried about physical, emotional, or spiritual harm or not, when you pick this card, you are to know that there is a divine protection watching over you at this time. Michael may be guiding you to release any feelings or situations you know aren't serving you anymore. It's time to make peace within and without. And we also have this chat, you know, let it go and let it be so. Okay, if you're feeling that this relationship is not righteous or this job is, you know, I'm, I go home sad or not happy, you know what to do. Expanded Interpretation. King of the Angels. Archangel Michael is here to keep you safe and his legion of angels is surrounding you at this time. If you feel fearful about anything, you create a space in which you can be attacked. Let me see that again. If you feel fearful, excuse me, if you feel fearful about anything, you create a space in which you can be attacked. Should be, cannot be attacked. Anyway, the white light, bright light chat I just said, that's how we do it, okay? Anytime I'm going in grocery stores now or anywhere, stores, anywhere there's a lot of people, I start talking about it because if anything, I'm clear and I can feel people. So this is how we do it. If you trust that you are safe and protected, you create a shield of light around you. When this shield is up, only loving experiences can enter in. Imagine the light of Michael surrounding you and feel safe in this heavenly light. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, Michael's name means he who is like God. And he is the prince of light, the ruler of the angelic realm. He ensures that all other archangels are performing their spiritual duties. He is the angel who protects all light workers, those souls who feel called to help heal the world. He is multidimensional being, and like all archangels, he can be in all places at once. He helps us surrender the negative feelings within so we can align once more with our spiritual truth, which is love. Okay, there we have it. There we have it. Okay, they need to put the word not in there. <laughs> it's not that we can be attacked. We cannot be attacked. White light, white light. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, White Eagle. Again, I just picked this card half an hour ago, an hour ago. So talk to your ancestors, my darlings, in heaven, okay? They always watch us. And even if you have pets in heaven, talk to them too. <laughs> there are little angels now. Thank you kindly all for watching. Make this September, you know, kick ass for all of you. And remember, we want to power up our psychic abilities. We want to have that prophetic wisdom and visions coming through. It's really time, and they want it for us. And look how beautiful all cards standing strong. I didn't have to top one down. Okay, all standing strong. Fabulous. Enjoy Capricorn. Thinking of you. Okay. And be happy in whatever you're doing. Alrighty. And remember, um, Capricorn, your mantra is I use. So use these powers here wisely. Okay. Love to all.